strong. It's not done? But we're not losing either. We can do this. No matter how many times we may fall, so long as we rise again, we cannot be defeated. <laughs> well put. And thanks to my line of work, I'm stubborn as hell too. I do not understand. Why do you push yourselves to your limits to oppose me? Mankind's desires create suffering, and this suffering generates desires within mankind. Desires are the catalyst in the endless cycle of humanity's pain. Hope, the dregs of Pandora's box, is the restraint system binding mankind forever to its misery. Humanity deserves to be freed from its lifelong sentence of suffering. This reaching towards a light they can never grasp. Freedom from all desires. That is the true desire of humanity. That's not true. I've seen the proof myself. I've witnessed the suffering you put the jail monarchs through. And I've seen the efforts of the Phantom Thieves to help them. I saw people suffer from trauma, struggle to survive, become the things they never wanted to be. And then discover the strength to press on as themselves, one step at a time. Giving up on desires? Living a listless life? In no way is that the optimal solution. You witness nothing but pitiable conditioning, born from the belief that suffering is virtuous. It springs forth from the arrogant and strong, those capable of overcoming their pain. Releasing humanity from its desires is the sole path that every last person can follow to the promised land. And I am the shepherd who shall guide humanity down that path. <laughs> Listen to this egomaniacal app. You really think you're some kind of shepherd? You stole the desires of the masses and gorged yourself on them until you were too bloated to listen to reason. You go on and on about rescuing humanity. All you're doing is robbing and enslaving them. You call yourself a god, yet fail to realize. The desires of humanity have become your own lifeblood as well. Yes, some desires may be impure. They can create suffering or send someone down the wrong path. But it's also how our hope takes form. Desires give us the power and courage to keep going. Right. That's what gives us the power to stand up and fight again, no matter how many times we fall. Like how will we hand over all of humanity to some program that doesn't even understand them? We're putting an end to your promised land path right now! We're shutting you down. We seem incapable of reaching an understanding. As such, I will end this inquiry and grant humanity's desire through your annihilation. Now you have no head! Okay! Let's go, everyone! <laughs> this is the final battle! <laughs> I thought I already did it. Uh, what are those giant things? I might be in trouble. Okay. Whoa. Okay. 
Okay, it's showtime. I need to get it stunned. I need the debuffer. False God Demiurge. I just realized the name now. I was paying attention too much. What do we do? man? Our attacks aren't doing jack shit. I mean, it's losing health, though. It's the spheres up there. They're feeding energy to the Demiurge. So until we deal with those, our attacks on the main body are fruitless. So how do we attack them? How do we do that? There are a whole bunch of them. Uh, should split up. Uh, I, I guess split up. I see. Splitting to groups and coordinate a strike. Okay, we need three teams. Two go after the spears. One more sticks to the main body. You should lead that last team, Joker. Uh, okay, good luck with the spheres. All right, we're ready for assignment. Oh, God, are you serious? Okay. Uh. All right. Uh. I mean, I could kind of do the healing myself in a way, because I do have a healer persona. So, I guess I can make it, uh... Yeesh. I need someone for, like, good damage. Because whoever is in that slot, that's the player, that's me. I can control all of them, of course, but still. Uh, hmm. Okay. That should do it. Careful out there, everyone. I can navigate all three teams. Overclocking my brain like that might melt it down, but I'm gonna do it. Let's go, everyone. Come. So I guess I gotta play as one group at a time. Whoa. Freedom can never know beauty. I shall turn you to ribbons along with your scheme. The desires of men are the wounds of their misfortune. Ah! Uh -huh. Please hang in there. What? A warning? How did that get here? Spheres are down, actually. Uh, bullets. Do you truly understand your actions? Uh, crap. Uh, who has a gun? No one has a gun. This is not good. No one has a gun. Yeah. Another one down. All right, this should be the one we need. Desires are nothing but evil temptations. That other one's gonna heal it, but with all of us attacking it, we should be able to get rid of it faster. Oh god, this video is getting extended quite a bit. But we still have one other group. Oh, yeah, okay, so it's making us go through each person. Each group. Okay. Uh, Are you kidding me? There is actually certain groups. Ah, uh, I didn't know that. Come on. Finish it off. And now it's... We believe in you. Now it's time for the last group, being us. Come. Uh, 
Yes! Unfathomable. Unfathomable. The enemy's down. It's weakened too. Now's our chance. All right. Everybody together. Let's finish this for good. Are we going to do the ultimate showstopper? Oh, no. All out attack. Let's go. Yes! So you do have a gun. Come on. Joker, finish it. This is such a long video, too. But it's such a big fight. I had to put in the last video for the last day of the week. Oh, I was hoping by the time I snapped my fingers, she'd explode. Why? I am the god who will guide humanity. All I can say to you is access denied. You cannot go beyond this point to become a god. Too bad, so sad. <laughs> now that's something. Is it finally over? Mm hmm. No mistake there. I'm not picking up any enemy readings. So. Hell yeah! We did it! Yes! We really, really did! Oh, we scraped by. That was unbelievably rough. Oh. That should have taken care of the jails, too. Top-notch work, you guys. That was some legitimate hero action back there. Why are you talking like you weren't in there? You're a hero too, Wolf. As well as Sophie. Huh? Sophie? Hmm? Oh, sorry. I'm a hero. A knight in shining armor. That doesn't sound bad at all, right, Joker? Not bad at all, but not as good as Phantom Thief. Yeah, that always sounds cool. Hmm? Looks like it's starting. The fusion of reality in the metaverse is coming undone. Now's the time to make our escape. Oh yeah, we need to bring Ichinose with us. I will go get her. You should all head back now. All right, let's get out of here. So, everything's back to the way it was, right? Well, I mean, there's no giant tree, no big, enormous AI god trying to grant everyone's desires. And everyone's not glued to their phones. Everyone's walking around normal. <sighs> well, I think it's safe to say so, yeah. So, you mean... Finally! It's all over. Yeah, cheers to that. <laughs> Thank goodness. It appears this case is closed, so to speak. Oh, that reminds me. Where are Sophia and Ichinose-san? 
I'm right here. Great job, everyone. I call this mission a real success. I'm glad you're safe too, Sophia. Where's Ichinose san though? She should have been with me. Oh, good. You all made it back in one piece. <laughs> I hear you there. And same for you. Looks like everyone's gone back to normal. They don't remember what happened to them, do they? Correct. At least, whatever events took place while their desires were gone. I see. I'm so sorry for all the trouble I caused you guys. Ichinose. My apologies. But I'm going to head out now. I have a lot of thinking to do. I say, if anything, you should probably take a nice little vacation you know, tour just like all these guys did. Visit the sites, get a nice room at very nice places with a nice view here and there, lounge and relax, maybe read a book or watch some videos. Just take time to relax and I'd say stay in touch. That way, Sophie knows you'll always be okay. Hey, uh, are you sure you're okay by yourself? Yeah, I'm going to head back home to Shibuya. It's been years since the last time I was there. For a long time, it was just the place where I stashed away everything from my past. But now, I need to go back. Well, I'll be seeing you. I wonder if Ichinose-san will be all right. Hmm. We can always make plans to visit her in Shibuya. I'm sure she'll be fine. People can get all caught up in what others have to say, and wind up forgetting what they have to say for themselves. At the same time, just a few words can end up being a lifeline to somebody too. I'm sure you were able to talk sense into her, Sophia. Just give her some time to process. You got it. Thanks, Sankichi. Well, not to bite her style or anything, but I ought to say my goodbyes, too. What? what what's the rush, Gramps? Well, I'm sure he has a job to do. Plus, he has a daughter to see. We may not have brought a god down at the station, but we did find the culprit behind this whole mess and foiled the entire scheme. I'm sure the bizarre incidents are in our past now, and thanks to the Monarch's confessions, you're all in the clear. That means our deal's through. What do you mean by that? Don't say such sad stuff, Senkichi. <laughs> they want him to stay as part of the group, but it's like, guys, he still has a job to do. He's not going to be able to be around freely to do more Phantom Thief stuff. Why not just take some time to plan to visit him so that you guys can still stay in touch? Especially since... You guys are friends with her daughter now. Come on. Let the guy have his time. Yeah, I'd say you're a phantom thief now. Come on, man. You remember I only met up with you guys so I could use you, right? Yeah, but, like, you didn't really have a choice, did you? If anything, you are our most valuable asset. Yeah. We owe you an awful lot, Zenkichi. <laughs> Thanks. You know, it really was great meeting you all. To be totally honest, I was originally jealous of you. Since my line of work means a lot of wasted effort getting things done, your direct results sort of felt like cheating, in a way. It was really bugging me for a while there. Zenkichi. But at the end of the day, not only did you guys rescue me, but you literally saved Akane's life. That's what opened my eyes and showed me the things I needed to do. <laughs> the things I'd lost sight of over the years. I guess my heart got changed before I could even see it coming. <laughs> Our feelings mutual. You taught us an awful lot too, you know. Like the challenges you can face when trying to live by your beliefs. As well as the pains of child rearing. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> But there's a lot of joy to find in those things, too. At this point, I'm finally ready to take care of something that's been plaguing me for a long time. 
You mean Awada. Right. I got no reason to hold back anymore. I know what I have to do. Get that man behind bars. What you have to do? You've got this. Yeah. Break a leg, Gramps. Gotcha. But it's not like this is the last time we'll ever see each other. I'm sure we'll cross paths again soon enough. Yeah, and like I said, can always make plans to visit Ichinose, Zenkichi, and Akane, as well as all the other people that were monarchs. I hope so too. No, I know it. Just do me a favor. Next time we meet, make sure it's not in an interrogation room, okay? But if anything does go down, feel free to reach out. I swear I'll do whatever I can to help. We will. See you, Phantom Thieves. Or, no. You damn kids. <laughs> there he goes. Then Kichi's great showdown in our world is about to begin. I'm sure he'll be fine. We ought to get going, though. Yep. It's time to head home. Home sweet home awaits, along with a nice big helping of Sojiro's curry. Looks like our journey's finally coming to an end. Hmm? Oh, I thought this was about to pop the credits. Speaking of... Uh, we're ending. home! Speaking of ending, I'm gonna end the snazzy and sit down! What were you thinking? Coming home a day late. You didn't even call to let me know. S -s Sorry, Sojiro. We had to fight this massive god and beat it and save the world from getting brainwashed and, and then... <sighs> <laughs> Jeez. Well, at least you guys are safe. Welcome back, kids. Oh, and you too. Yeah. Good to see you again. Uh huh. Hope you had fun. Sojiro, it was amazing. There's so much I gotta tell you. But I'm too wiped out today. I just wanna eat until I pass out into my curry. Sojiro, curry. Honestly, if I was going through everything they went through, that would be the only thought I had left after surviving all that. I'd just be like, just give me something to eat. Something good to drink. Nothing with caffeine. And let me pass out in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> Already got it ready for you. Just give me a sec to heat it up. <sighs> so, Jiro, you're the best. <laughs> she can't even cheer without yawning. Ah, oh, that aroma of coffee and curry? This place really is comforting. Coffee and curry? Does that mean boss is behind the counter? Mm-hmm. Huh? <clears throat> Haven't I heard that voice somewhere before? Oh, that's right. I never had the chance to introduce myself. Nice to meet you, Sojiro. I'm Sophia, humanity's companion and a member of the Phantom Thieves. All of us, Sophia included, had a great time talking about the fun we had on our road trip. Yeah. Oh, that night. You have accomplished your goal with magnificent aplomb. Despite all manner of hardships, your bonds and your fortitude staved off the oppressive darkness shining brightly for all humanity you have again broken free from the shackles of fate and grasped your future for yourself does that mean i get to sit behind the uh, behind that desk in that chair as a result the god sought by many has returned to the void some may be lost without it with nary a hope to cling on to be that as it may I believe the blazing will that you fostered throughout your journey 
has been embedded deep within the hearts of mankind and will surely blossom into hope for them when they most need it, allowing them to face their own challenges with strength and grace. Thank you, Trickster. Allow me to praise you in my master's stead. You were truly a remarkable guest. May our paths cross yet again one day. Until then, Sweet dreams. <clears throat> hmm? This crazy summer's given us a whole lot of grief. <coughs> but our mission was a success, and we made a bunch of great memories together. So? Do we get to see the photos? Let's get this celebration going! Woo! Applause! Applause! <sighs> <laughs> Is it time for everyone to enjoy a nice sleepover? What's wrong, Ryuji? You don't appear to be your usual self. Man, I could not fall asleep last night. Ugh, my bed at home just wasn't doing it for me. I bet it was because he was so used to how we were sleeping during the trip in the, the tent and all that while the girls slept in the RV. I gotcha. Our bodies are all spec for the Feathermobile at this point. Feathermobile. I find myself missing the Feathermobile too. Why'd you change the name when we don't even got it anymore? I like Phantom Mobile better. Feathermobile just sounds weird. Isn't it called the Phantom Mobile? That was true. At least, for a little while. Anyway, it looks like nobody besides us thieves remembers what happened at the Tokyo Radio Tower, just like last time. Oh, that sucks, considering it was our asses on the line and all. Eh, you guys are the Phantom Thieves. Thieves don't like to be up front taking all the praise. The trolling society from the shadows slaying evil in secret? I admit it sounds rather alluring. Well, yeah, but don't you want some kind of recognition every once in a while, too? Eh, yeah, that draws too much attention. You know, like fangirls and that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'd say, oh my god, it's Ryuji! Not you! And your acting's awful! <laughs> Still... We made all sorts of unforgettable memories. I couldn't have asked for anything more. Same here. It was a new experience at every turn. It was the best. Mm-hmm. And we can rest easy knowing we did everything we could to help. Any loose strings left are in the middle of being wrapped up. Ah, oh, man. Gramps would have really helped to turn this party up, huh? I bet he'd say he's too busy trying to bring in Awada to attend a celebration just yet. So we're all partying while Zenkichi's still busting his buns on the case? Now I'm feeling a bit guilty. Eh, you guys can make it up to him by visiting him and Akane and maybe even, maybe even treating them to a victory feast for his arrest. Maybe because you remembered school starting back up soon? And doesn't that go for all of you? Oh, yeah, that reminds me. When are you heading home? Tomorrow. Huh? Really? Time sure did fly by. We'll be back. Well, duh, man. And make it soon, okay? Oh, it's gonna be soon. Sophia, will you be joining them? You got it. And what if she ends up sniffing out of jail in his hometown, huh? <laughs> like that would ever happen. If it ever did happen, he we could just contact you guys quick, let you guys know what's happening, and then you guys could come and help us. Now that you mention it, I wonder why Sophia was in the Shibuya jail anyway, of all places. Good point. Well, Ichinose did mention that she used to live in Shibuya. Perhaps Sophia was originally located within her house. 
So, when Emma picked up on Sophia's existence from the Metaverse side, that cognition... Ah, this is all speculation. But even if that's how any of it worked, it'd have to be some sort of miracle. Since we're on the topic, Sophia, you seemed a bit distracted after we defeated the Demiurge. Did something happen? Oh, that. I heard Emma's voice. Huh? You mean the one only you can hear? Yes. I was issued a final request. What request? Please follow your heart to save humanity. <clears throat> Emma asked you that? Had we been able to reach a mutual agreement, perhaps Emma could have followed Sophia's path rather than face destruction. I believe this is proof of the true power that the Phantom Thieves hold. Artificial intelligence is not the enemy of mankind. We were born to help people. But just like people, we are capable of errors in judgment and can stray from the right path. Our users, their input, our experience, these all mold us to take a wide variety of beliefs. If only Emma had learned and grown with a good companion. Well, I mean, you are Emma's prototype, so in a way, she kind of is, just not the Emma you guys fought. <clears throat> then why don't you give yourself the directive to show others how it's done? What? Since you're such a good companion to humanity, you can be a positive role model for how AI and humans can work together. Oh, I couldn't even count how many people that'd end up helping in the end. You can do it. Thank you, everyone. Oh, but I can't leave the smartphone. That's a shame. Being a role model and helping countless people will have to wait. <laughs> Not so fast, Sophia. I've cooked up an ultra epic. Yeah, shut up, shut up, shut up. This is getting too close to being a downer. This is a celebration, right? Celebrate! Okay, she someone had a bad time on the toilet on the way here. Come on, uh, Yusuke! You, me, soda chugging contest, now! Um, I don't know if we're ready for that. Such idiocy. To think you could consume more than I. Uh-oh. Hey, you better not spill any of that. I swear to God, if one of you pukes on this table, you're cleaning it. You idiots! Oh, you got soda all over my fur! <laughs> uh, not exactly the celebration I'd planned. Oh, and that's why you don't chug soda in a contest like that. It just becomes a sticky mess. Jeez, thanks for ruining the celebration for me, Ryuji. But it was fun. Everyone seemed to be having a good time. Yeah, I guess I had fun too. So, will the Phantom Thieves be disbanding tomorrow? Uh, we don't have a choice with school and everything starting back up. Eh, uh, never really see it as disbanding. See it as just taking a temporary leave of duty until everyone's needed again. Ryuji and Lady An already have their plates full with homework as it is. I think they'll do all right. <laughs> Me too. And Yusuke? I'm sure he's ready to get back to his artwork. Makoto and Haru are heading back to college. I wonder what life is like there. Who knows, maybe one day they'll make a future Persona game that continuates Persona 5 story to these characters all being in college. Or at least uh, the main protagonist here, as well as Morgana and some of the others, while Makoto and Haru are probably done or just about to be finished with college. Who knows? 
I say it'll be really fun. I've had a good time at college. They didn't seem too bummed on their deal. Sure, they complain from time to time, but it sounds like they're having fun overall. And Futaba seems to have gotten a lot stronger too, huh? Considering how she seems now, she's not gonna have any trouble at school making new friends. Mm-hmm. Might even make new gamer friends. Everyone has found their own path. What's up? Well, I was wondering what my path is. You'll find it soon enough, Sophia. Until then, feel free to stick with this guy and me. Thanks, you two. We're really heading out tomorrow. I still wish we had more time, but we ought to get some rest. Sleepy time. Ah, what? Knife. Who keeps throwing that well, knife? Be careful on your way back. See ya. It was a real blast. Drop us a line whenever you're back. No matter what you're doing, we'll drop it to meet you. We'll be waiting to hear from you. Are you gonna be back for winter break? You know you could come back sooner, right? Futaba sounds like she really would like us to come back sooner than planned. <laughs> the attic's all yours whenever you like. It'll only cost you a few hours behind the counter. Honestly... I wouldn't even mind that if it was with such a kind person like that. Just gives you a free place to stay and live at, and you just gotta work it off. You can even ask, like, if you can be employed there and just be like, hey, I work here, pay it off, and the rest of it on the side could be my paycheck. I say that's a fair deal. You take care too, Morgana. Lady on. While it pains me to leave you, I must keep watch over him. Keep it calm in there, Morgana. See you later, Monachan. Listen to your owner, okay? No, he listens to me, and I'm not a pet. <laughs> keep an eye on these two for us, okay, Sophia? Okay, I've got it. I almost forgot! What's the matter? Is it about the thing you made for Sophia? I have a present for Sophia. A present? Indeed. I didn't get a chance to give it to you yesterday. Yeah, because those two decided to have a soda chucking contest. Oh, one moment, Futaba. There's a message from Ichinose. Sorry this is so sudden, but... Could you meet me in front of Shibuya Station? Bring everyone else, too, if you can. I promise not to take too much of your time. Well, hope to see you there. What did Ichinose-san have to say? Well, sure didn't expect that. Okay, guess we're gonna see her there. Let's meet her. I'm curious. I admit, I'm curious as well. Are any of you too busy to join us? Not at all. In fact, this seems right. Yes, one <coughs> last little farewell trip together. She said to meet her here, right? This video keeps extending further and further, holy crap. Yeah, but I don't see her. Maybe we just beat her here. What do you say we wait for a bit? So hot, melting. I'm evaporating in five seconds. Uh, perhaps we could find a spot to stay in a way that isn't directly in the sun. Huh? Wait, look at that! We now bring you breaking news. A shocking turn of events in the political realm. Moments ago, an arrest warrant was issued for legislator Jun Owada. The charges against Mr. Owada span from bribery and tax evasion to... That's... 
A fleet of police vehicles have encircled the Diet Member's office building, which is reportedly being searched at this time. We now take you to the investigation team's press conference, live at their headquarters. We have uncovered evidence that shows Mr. Awada illegally accepted funds from the company Medis. Additional investigations into his numerous other charges are currently underway. Regarding the specific hit-and-run incident two years ago, wherein Mr. Awada's secretary claimed to be the culprit, we have learned the true culprit was Mr. Owada himself, driving his own vehicle while under the influence of alcohol. The concealment of this fact involved multiple high-ranking members of the police force, all arrested for conspiracy to conceal evidence. I cannot apologize deeply enough for the flagrant, abysmal disregard for truth and justice from this department. We intend to follow our investigations to the absolute end, not only for justice's sake, but for that of the people and their faith in the police. Whoa, is, is this real? Wait, that Owada? And the police were in on it? Isn't this like a huge deal? Furthermore, there are claims that Mr. Owada's criminal activity extends well beyond that with Medis, including suspicions that he ordered the murder of his secretary two years ago, as well as... Uh, isn't that... Senkichi-san did it! He finally got the person he's been after for so long! Serves Owada right! Yeah, Gramps pulled it off! That dude really is badass! The perpetrators finally caught under the light of truth. A job well done. Good job, Zenkichi. Looks like he wasn't just trolling us about his skills. No wonder he made such a good part of our team. <sighs> He's finally avenged his wife. Yep. Just like he promised Akane. Not only was the killer caught, he was the one who collared him. I'm so happy for Zenkichi-san. Hey. Been waiting long? Uh, kind of. Futaba's over here melting. Ichinose-san! Wrapping up the paperwork at the police station took a lot longer than I'd expected. The police station? I actually went straight there and turned myself in the moment we finished our conversation. Hang on, but what you did was... Kanoe was the one who abused Emma's power. If you turned yourself in over all that... Setting Emma loose upon the world like I did would have led to its destruction if not for you all. Not only that, there's no denying I directly hurt you all as well. Okay, hold on, rewind that. Setting Emma loose upon the world like I did would have led to its destruction if not for you all. I know that's true. There we go. Fixed it! I thought I should be punished for that. At the very least. Ichinose. So, I confessed everything to the police. <laughs> Big surprise. They didn't believe anything I said. Well, it's not exactly the easiest story to buy. I even tried to get Hasegawa-san to help with my confession. <laughs> he just laughed it off. The police are too busy for fairy tales right now. That sure sounds like Senkichi. Anyway, I originally planned to do this once I was released from jail. But I'm thinking of taking a journey of my own. A journey, you say? Yes, a sort of quest to learn about the human heart. <sighs> I thought Emma really would guide humanity to a better world. But once Sophia changed my mind, that was when I noticed something. The eyes of everyone saved by Emma. They just looked cold and dead. But you all, Sophia included, your eyes were so brimming with hope that it opened my own. Sophia learned about the human heart by joining you on your journey. You shared good times and bad. You were there for each other when you needed it. 
and you learn to understand each other. I don't know if I'll ever be able to do that kind of thing. You never know. But I want to speak with other people about the heart when learning this time. Try and really do it right. I just needed to make sure I apologize to Sophia and you all properly before I depart. I truly am so, so sorry for putting you all through so much pain. It's in the past. He's right. It's all been taken care of, and we're not sore over it. Thank you. Hey. I have a request of my own. Really? What is it? I... Well... I want to join Ichinose. Huh? You mean go with her on her journey? You've all done so much for me. You accepted me when I had nowhere to go. You said I was your teammate and friend. You gave me a home. It made me so happy. I constantly felt warm and fuzzy inside. However, everyone now has their own path to the future. Thanks to you all, I've learned so much. I've even found my path to follow. The path I need to take as humanity's companion. I want to be able to lend a helping hand to anyone who strays from their own path. Just like you all do. I want to help people find their way so they can find their happiness. If Ichinose is trying to find her way, then I should be there for her. Just like you were for me. I want to become more like you. So I can be the self that I want to be. Sophia. Does that mean we're saying goodbye to you too now, Sophia? I thought she was stuck in there. Mm -mm. That's not an issue. Sophia, do you remember the first night we met? That full scan of you in LeBlanc's attic? Well, I've only been able to hammer away at it little by little, but since that day, I've been working on a program to to get you out of there. Oh, <gasps> dude, for real? I I tried telling you guys a whole bunch of times, but I didn't think it'd wind up being a goodbye gift. Taba. <sighs> Sophia's decided what she wants to do. She's found her path in life. So we should congratulate her and send her off with a smile. Right, Futaba? Yeah, you're right. Oh. Are you sure this is what you want, Sophia? They're clearly really going to miss you. Yes, it's what I want. But first, I need to hear it from you. Hmm? May I go with Ichinose? Of course. Thanks. Sorry, everyone. I haven't been able to show my appreciation for what you've done for me. Ah, uh, what are you talking about? You know that's not how friends roll. Yeah, friends and members of the Phantom Thieves. And I'm sure one day you'll all get to see each other again. Mm-hmm. You'll always be a part of us. Nothing could sever the bond we forged over such high stakes. And we'll never forget the great times we had together. I know you'll be a fantastic companion to Ichinose-san. Sophia, stay safe out there. Take care, Sophia. Yeah. Thank you all. I promise I won't forget you or our time together. Huh. We'll meet again. 
<laughs> yeah, no matter what. <laughs> okay, no matter what. Goodbye. That was Sophia's treasure, and she gave, uh, gave it to them as well. Yes! I did it! I beat Persona 5 Strikers! Oh my god. This was such an adventure. <clears throat> I loved this game. Oh my god, and all of the cinematics we saw. Oh, and this video was so long. Like, it's gone over two hours and 13 minutes right now. I was not expecting the final battle to have this much cinematic stuff happening. I loved playing this, though. I'm going to take this off for a second. The music is beautiful and all that, but I need a moment. Hey, look, it's on. On and Mo oh, Morgana sharing dessert. Hey, <laughs> that's the Sophie part. Um, that's the one part of, of uh, this whole game I'm never going to forget is seeing Sophie just wrap her outfit over her legs and then just bundle up like that, holding herself with her eyes just bulging out just shivering cold holy crap all that ramen uh, this was an adventure this was a great adventure i loved playing this game and seeing that as well that was awesome that was funny everything they all experienced and the exploded watermelon <laughs> Uh, and I hope you guys will be looking forward to the next game as well. Because the next game is another Persona 5 game. I have been planning to hop into another Persona 5 game on the day I... Well, probably not doing it later today because I, I might have some stuff that I need to do with my... It's time for me and my friends to have our daily adventures like we always do. <clears throat> um, but I do plan on getting into another Persona 5 game. I probably announced it before, uh, but just in case, I'll say it again. The next Persona 5 game we're going to be hopping into to continue our adventures with these characters and probably some new ones or old ones that are also going to be new to me because I've never met them before from the older games is going to be Persona 5 Tactica. The game that, as I've seen in screenshots, looks very similar to Mario plus Rabbids, uh sparks of hope and also mario plus rabbits uh kingdom i have been wanting to hop into that game since i purchased it but i wanted to wait till i beat this first so that way i had experience from this to prepare myself for that game i know it's not going to be exactly the same as this game but i'm looking forward to it and that's the photo they took Oh, wait, no. That's a different photo. Okay, so these are all photos they've been taking all over. Aw, oh, Morgana. Oh, this is... He should be out any second. There! Oh. <laughs> yep. That's right. Well, as several counts of 
It's about time we got going too, huh? Guess so. So we'll go our separate ways, once more. It's a little sad. The same goodbye, I mean. Come on! It's never goodbye forever! We'll be back in a flash! Sure will! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll all be back in a flash. Cause we'll be going into another adventure. Until next time, Phantom Thieves. Still though, when Anne pulled out that gun, rapid firing at the final boss, why couldn't I do that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's Sophia and Ichinose. Oh, you have received the Persona 5 music set for clearing the game. Well, it says the, the game. <laughs> That's a little bit of a misprint. Normal battle music can be changed via the change battle music option in the config menu. By loading this save file, you will be able to continue the game just before the Demiurge battle. Would you like to save your clear data? Yes. Because that is it. Is anything going to happen when I exit out? Nope, we're just going straight back into the menu. So that's just going to have to be it for this game. I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did, and I'm really sorry this last episode had to be so long, but I wanted to get it scheduled and done as I hoped. I may cut the video in half, so you guys might see this as a second half, so that way it's not as long. I'll, I'll see what I can do with the video. If it ends up being one whole, I'm very sorry about it, but I really, really wanted to make this be the last video for this week. So that way, uh, it can end off this game on a good note. And then prepare you guys for the next whole week to being videos for Persona 5 Tactica. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that as much as I am. And with that being said, and me taking this off my head again. Ow, I pulled my hair. Ow. It wasn't from the headset. My finger just grabbed my hair. <laughs> anyway, while I fix my hair and get ready for... Uh, taking care of certain things as well, as well as hanging out with my own friends. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and ding the bell so that you guys can stay notified of the content that uploads onto the channel and to help support it. And as always, see you all in the next video. Take care, everyone. Thank you again for joining me for Persona 5 Strikers and have a wonderful, safe, and healthy day. And always be there for your friends and family. Never give up and push forward, and let hope guide you on the right path. Bye-bye! I'm about to sneeze. I gotta go. Bye.